like to argue. And like just little petty, about petty things. I don't like, like to like argue anymore. Things that you don't even look at. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Bro, that shit give you a headache. And then you realize you arguing about nothing. I always ended with, what the fuck? What was we arguing about in the first place? I don't know. Me either. What was the point? <laughs> You argue so much and then old shit come up. Don't let you not be having sex. And then this happened, this happened, and it's like. What was we arguing about again? You don't even have an answer. Smack you in your face with your cameras and fuck your page up. I'ma make sure that y'all haters really do hate us. Came from and see just to see that you ain't got paper. Really came to give you this work. Fuck the favor. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Nick G the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. For more videos like this, please get this video a thumbs up. If y'all want to see more videos like this, put it down in the comment section below. Let's get to this video, man. So, yesterday, I uploaded the video of them telling y'all, or telling us, uh, the name of the baby. I put his name in the thumbnail and in the title. Here's the thing. They make the video yesterday <laughs> like a day before i react to the video that night and i post the video the next day i would already assume that half of y'all or if not more have already watched the video so i continue to do my thing how i do my thing now considering that everybody hasn't watched the video the video got deleted whatever maybe i shouldn't put the name in a title and all that but damn like, shit don't be that deep to me. You know what I'm saying? Especially the fact that you can skip the video and actually see everything. But, um, so I just had to get out of my chest because I've seen a lot of comments. At the end of the day, I don't react to the video and put it out the next hour. I put it out the next day. So, watch the videos faster. Hell. <laughs> but anyway, um, so Queen and Clarence did another video, Do We Argue? I'm definitely reacting to this because I want to know. They act like, you know, they don't argue at all. I, I honestly don't think they do. If they do, it's probably about, I don't know. I feel like it'll be about sleep or time or um, <laughs> ain't no way in hell it's about money. Unless they arguing about who paying for what. I could see that happening. Uh, I could see Queen want to pay for stuff all the time and him telling her, like, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Um, things with business, but not arguments to the point where they done pissed each other off and can't have a conversation for the rest of the night. I don't see that happening. Um, you know, a lot of people do that. Me and Jadia used to do that, but now we can, now we can talk to each other. Uh, but yeah, we about to check this video out. Let's see if they argue, because I want to know. I just seen it pop up. I was like, I got to react to this video, because I want to know. I guess I could try to not put <clears throat> the surprise in, in the title and in the thumbnail or whatever. Let's get it. I like this intro. Really detailed. What's up, bro? Hey, family. It's your girl, Queen. It's your boy, Clarence. And we are back, back with another, another for your, your mother. mother. Yo, mother. Not your my mother. mother. Yo, mother. Honestly, yo, mama. Yo, mama. We had yo, some moms come up to us for like the meet and greet. And they say, hey, love it. Yeah, so it is. Sweet. A lot of people do love that. Yeah. I do come they love the fact that we say, say, yo, mother. See, I'm oh. glad. You thought it was, you, you might have thought nah, it was I, Yeah, but you, that's all you know I'm saying? Today's topic is about relationships. More so, our relationship. Our relationship. And, and maybe it, it would help you. Yeah, maybe it would. Your relationship. Yeah, so I'm not like no expert on relationships. Me neither. But from experience, I think from I think we learned it, like from our past experiences and like this ex this experience with us, we kind of like learned some stuff. Oh yeah, learned a lot. Um, and so the title is "Do We Argue?" That. I know that might sound like a stupid question, but y'all might look at us and be like, "Oh my God, it's so 
perfect. Perfect and things like that. But I don't think any relationship is like perfect and will ever be. But you can have two imperfect people perfect for each other. Right. But no relationship is perfect. Great no breakdown. Could be perfect for you. You know what I mean? Like it like we're not perfect, but I feel like I feel like you're perfect for me though. Like the type of person I am. And then like vice versa, yeah. I feel like you need a person like me. I do. I yeah, agree. Like, I feel like you're perfect for me too. I agree with that. No, honestly. Make each other, but nah, I'm honestly. Judea has become perfect for me. Okay. Perfect for me, baby. Right. I thought of, I thought of, We do have, like, I'm honestly. So, like, I'm so serious. Like, I'm so serious and, like, not, like, and so closed in. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really let people close to me or in to my circle of where, what we do. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's all her. Yeah. That's that's what she's good but at. Like, you know what I mean? She likes she's very friendly, yeah. very like colorful and she just wants everybody to be happy and you really want to make everybody happy and please everybody. She's so pregnant. And he kinda just don't give a f about I'm a little people. more blunt, yeah. yeah. Like, like and when it comes to like people. Pleasing people and making people happy, he more think, you know. But we balance each other out. It's a out. balance though, yeah, it's a balance. Some, like if he if I feel like he wrong about something, uh, I, I will tell you. And on, he tells me if he feel like I'm wrong. It never get like it's arguing like he's moving. Is is arguing like what we would call it, or do we call it? I don't think we argue. Like that's one thing. Um, I don't think we've argued before. A debate. I don't think it's because yeah, arguing debate. is like going back and forth. Yeah, like I don't like we don't we don't do that. We'll but, we, but we do have disagreements, you know what I mean? That is important. My fault. It's important for, uh, to have, like, good communication, especially when you have a disagreement. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. I, right. No, you go ahead. Me and him was raised differently. You see how he cut her off a couple times, and... She couldn't really let it out, but she paused and she let him say what he had to say. And then after he kind of got it out, he like, okay, you go ahead. Say what you got to say. In other words, I just wanted to let that out. Just let me let that out. And now you go ahead. Not that you last or you can't talk. Just let me get this out. I might forget. I know you forget. You know what I'm saying? All right, boom. I'm going to say what I got to say. Now you can say what you have to say because I ain't want to forget. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Communication. Yeah, like we was raised like I noticed like in the beginning I thought that we were kind of like similar similar very very similar but as as things went by I see that we not so similar in some areas like we was we wasn't raised the same way and so that could be like that could be like a little I don't know tough a little tough sometimes, but because now we live with each other. Yeah. So now, we're, now we're like having. Yeah, like so now, now so you got to take. Like I, everything, like all the principles and morals that I've learned, I'm trying to now instill in my household, but then she has different. Like, you know what I mean? So it has to be like a compromise. A compromise or a middle. Yeah, a middle. So I think that's the hardest part is bringing your beliefs and my beliefs together to teach this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then not only that, but just for me, having just a sep uh, another child that's not by you, I don't want Renzo and CJ to, if they're going to be in the same household, I don't want them to be raised differently. Different or have different principles. So I also have to, like, if whatever we teaching him, it's like, I want to make sure CJ or Renzo don't ever feel like they're being raised different. If that's crazy, because I've been told, like, um... You know, you get the first child, you don't know what you're doing at all. You get the second one, you kind of got to figure it out. But about the third one, you absolutely know exactly what to do. And that sucks because it seemed like the first child didn't really get it. You know what I'm saying? And then the second child just kind of always is the, the, the hell person. You know what I'm saying? The, the second child is always the one to be hell for some reason. But the third child, they get all the perfect shit because the parents got to figure it out. That's crazy to me. 
But I'm not a parent, so I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that's crazy to me. They brothers, like I feel like if you raise under one roof, you should be raised the same. No, but you know, I give you, I give you advice. On yeah, CJ, you give me advice so, on CJ, but it, it don't be bad. Because it's like I gotta, I have to love CJ. It's like that's my son's older brother. He's gonna adore CJ. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I know CJ's gonna adore him. So it's like. And I know my son is gonna follow CJ. Like, yeah, because that's his big brother. Yeah, like that's his big brother. So you know what I'm saying? So I need, so I would, I, I would love to help you with, it. like you know what I mean? Like yeah. not help you, cause I know like his father's still in his life, but still like help you. So it's like, it's gonna be so easy for. Rent I tend to spoil like, CJ a lot, so he's gonna have to eventually see baby CJ as his own. You know, and and. That's so hard to say because his dad is in his life and I'm hoping some of you older people will speak up in this video because I, I don't like does he have to you know become a father to CJ but you know CJ goes with his dad you know what I'm saying and it's just kind of like CJ does what he he does in, in, in Chris's household. Then he got to come back home and, you know, to Queen's household and do what Clarence want him to do, you know, and, and, and be raised how Renzo's being raised. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. But honestly, but as she should, though, like all moms should, like that is a mom's job. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You got, but it's like. When, when I was a little kid, I was spoiled too, but it's like my mom had a sense of discipline in her where it's like, yeah. don't play with me. But like, see, all, thing all, is, like, all, I, all my mom had to do was look at me and I would... With me, it's different, saying, CJ. But see, the thing is, your mom had to be your mom and your dad at a point. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly, exactly. I never had to do that. I, I always was... Because he has his dad. Yeah, I always... Only, you know, it's supposed to be mom. But bottom line, what, what I'm saying is, like, we were raised differently. So we have to come together and compromise. So some of the stuff that was raised on or some of our different beliefs sometimes make us have disagreements. Mm -hmm. Does it make us not talk? I mean, us we not never talk? went a day. We well, never, no. If we, if we, we might be quiet towards each other, like, for a little bit. Like, because I don't, I don't believe in, like, constantly nagging someone. Um, because then that's how they get tired of you. Like, Facts. you're supposed to give someone a space. Give me my if, space. If you know, you know, they just not really feeling it. And then go talk to them. And I think another thing is that we're always around people. Like, we're never by ourselves. We always have security guards. We have tour managers. We have a manager. We have, like, I just, we're never alone. So it's like... And I'm never gonna like. I never want to like mistreat her, like or like even argue in front of people. Like, nah. I mean, I'm like, I'm real like tedious on like. Nobody should know that we exactly. Into it. Like Facts. you know what I'm saying, no one like. The only way, reason why I should. <laughs> I just bumped. <laughs> I just bumped my computer and then his camera shake. That's crazy because I felt like I did it. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm real tedious on, on that too. Do not embarrass me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I have enough respect to not do that to you in person, especially, don't do that shit to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, like this right here. If we, like, tell you guys, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go on Twitter and tweet something. So, like, even yeah. if you see a tweet that might be like, oh, no, they're arguing, it's not. Because yeah. if we are, I won't tweet. Like, I won't tweet about it. You know what I mean? So, it's yeah, no. just... Me I won't either. Like, yeah, we're not going to, like, we're not. And I'm not going to drop hints that like, we're going through something. So that, so if I seem a little sad, people are like, are you and Claire good? Nah, yeah. Like, y'all are never, honestly, you know, don't, don't assume that it's like. Me and and we're going to, we always figure it out. We like, figure it like, out. too, like, I'm, and, and that's why I say, like, this is, it's so refreshing because, like, not to, like, bring up the past but like in my past relationship you know what i'm saying it was more like arguing like going back and forth and like, but i don't like to argue and like just little petty about petty things i don't like, like to argue anymore things that you don't even look at like you know what i mean like bro that shit give you a headache and then you realize you arguing about nothing i always ended with what the fuck what was we 
we arguing about in the first place? I don't know. Me either. What was the point? <laughs> you argue so much and then old shit come up. Don't let you not be having sex. And then this happened, this happened, and it's like. What was we arguing about again? You don't even have an answer. That's the dumbest shit ever, bro. I cannot stand that shit. <laughs> My phone. Or tweet. Or like, who's that girl you're speaking to? Like, at the, at the end of the show. Well, that you was know what I mean? But you know, like, I know I'm closed in it, but I'm friendly too at the same time. It's like weird. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? You're friendly, but you're not too friendly. Yeah, like, I'm not going to go out. Like, I'll meet a person and talk to them, like, you know what I mean? You're and not like, an attention, see what huh? their business is like, what my, I'll tell them, give them my story. But I'm not going to invite them to my house the next day. Yeah. <laughs> That's more what Queen would do. <laughs> like, meet someone and invite her. Claire, I wouldn't do that. No, but you would do that. No, lear no learning from you over time, yeah, I, know, I would Mark, do that. When I first met you, you would probably, like, you know what I'm saying? She would have. You would meet know. somebody and, like, she's her best friend the next day. Okay, not to my house. Maybe out to dinner. Yeah, like, like she's like now she's your friend. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. off of one day. Like I can't. Well, do my that. friend from the meet and greet. Yeah, <laughs> like I can't. I can't do that. You know what I mean? But that's just, honestly, that's her innocence though, and I, I honestly that's one of the things I love about her. Honestly, I don't really get too mad. Or I don't. I don't feel some kind of way when he got girls at his meet and greets and like girls saying stuff to him because honestly, like I knew what I was getting myself into before I got into this relationship. I knew that on his Instagram, he had mad girls under there calling him daddy, hard eyes, all that. Like, I knew what I was getting myself into. So, do I expect that to stop when he get with me? No, because... To be, a, to be a woman or a man and you messing with somebody that's attractive and we have the internet, yo, there's no way that somebody is not going to cross the line. But really, really crossing the line is touching a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't touch her. Don't touch him. Cool. You you think they cute? Ah, uh, uh, whatever. Bet. Cool. Don't touch her. You know what I'm saying? Like ever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, daddy, mommy, all that sexy. I don't give a damn about none of that at all. I'm like, oh damn, somebody called you daddy. <laughs> you know. Really? I feel like these females. Probably don't feel like they owe loyalty to me. They don't. What is that really doing to me just because they comment something or DM him? It's really up to him. She like, don't want to sleep with him every like, night. I can't get mad at the girls. I feel like right now, like, I think, like, it, our trust hasn't really been, like, hindered. And then, like, nah. You know what I mean? So she trusts me and I trust her. So you're confident too in what you do. Like, I'm confident enough to know, like, like even if you like her and like want it, like I'm confident enough that like you can't do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's that like too. even if you decide I the same way true yeah, like, even that. if you decide to do something then that's on you. That's you exactly how I feel. That, but like losing me is a loss. Like you know what I mean? I feel, and I feel and like losing you is a loss. Yeah, and I feel like you the same and way. And I feel like losing same. me is a loss too. Like we both feel the same way. I truthfully I like to be honest with myself, I know I feel like I'm a pretty girl. I know there are like bad girls out there probably trying to hurt you, but at the end of the day, I still do feel like nobody is like me. I'm traveling food real quick. Well, weird. Sorry, guys. I don't think somebody will give you the same feeling. No, I know nobody will give you the same feeling I give you, baby. It's only one me. You heard? So I know that, but I've had to build that confidence in myself over the years to know that. So, I've been cheating on and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, now it's just kind of like, I peep it. I already, I already know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. They're not going to do you like me. I promise you. All my exes have tried to get back with me. You heard? <laughs> so, go ahead. But they're not going to treat you like me. I promise you that. Yeah, that's where they do order details. Yeah, sorry. This is our first time ordering from Grub Hub. And it's like... Oh, it's on the way. So... Okay. All right. So I'll probably call. Yeah. You, put, you had to put your number in? Yeah, I did. All right, but, So come on. What you saying? I was saying that, yeah, like... You know the girl like you. You beautiful. Huh? What you say? I said it was no other girl like you. I just don't... I just don't think that, like, even if... Because, honestly, I'm not the... I'm just picking... 
That was cute. You wanna trip it? Maybe one more. I was just trying to clean it out. Okay. Well, yeah, what was I saying? Clear you keep throwing me off. Sorry. Go ahead. I just feel like there are other good girls out there. I'm not the only good girl, but we are rare. I think it is rare to yeah. find a good, someone. A good girl is rare nowadays. Facts. I feel like it, it's rare to find Facts. somebody like me. Let me tell y'all something, young people. If you got a good girl or a good dude out here, you better keep them. You better keep them. One of every three people got uh, herpes. I just want y'all to know that. I need everybody to know this, okay? One of every three people has herpes. And don't nobody want herpes, okay? So, you need to keep the person that you got. Treat them right, especially if they treat you right. Ain't nobody perfect. People had their issues. Some people not clean. Some people not that. Some people not that. But you can work on that. You know what I'm saying? You can work on that. You want, even if you're not in a relationship with them, long as they there. You know what I'm saying? Don't lose them. Relationships, that title shit, ain't everything people think it is. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be. I'm your girlfriend. But you're not doing this, you're not doing that. You break up with them, they start doing this. It. Like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying the label don't mean nothing. And they get what I'm saying now, like we're perfect. Do you get what I'm saying? But I think what we what we're saying is what we bring to the table our way is probably the bad that may come with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like with me, like if, like right for instance, I want to tell you a story. When me and Queen and Patty was there too, and uh, when me and Queen was moving and we had ordered furniture and like these. Um, we had ordered furniture. We was waiting for furniture all day. You know what I mean? So you had took CJ downstairs to the pool. Oh, yeah. And y'all was chilling. You know what I'm saying? You had your swimsuit on. You was looking like a little male. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You wasn't. This is not when you was pregnant. Huh? You wasn't even showing yet. I, no, I was pregnant. I just wasn't. You wasn't like, showing yet. Yeah, I wasn't showing at all. But, um, like basically, like a little so the movement finally gave her right there helping us. And, like, the guy like he like peeks out the window and like he's like wow he he like oh he like he telling his his friend and all the people that's moving in like like look at this like look at this they're all gathering around the window and they're looking at a girl they're like oh that she's fire like you don't know the things like you know what I mean like I would love to have that like they're saying all these things you know what I mean and I don't know who they're talking about he's calling me over there as well like you know what I mean so I go and check. And it's queen. A lot of men in that predicament will probably get mad. Yeah. Pissed. A lot of dudes. You know what I mean? And what do I say? I say, like, oh, you, you think she's fired? But she's fired, right? And they're like, yeah, yeah, she's fired. And I'm like, yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. And then he was scared. Like, he was scared <laughs> a little bit. Like, 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 my fault, my fault. I didn't mean, I'm that's a lesbian's world. Do you hear me? Yo, she fine as hell, bro. God damn. She fine, ain't she, boy? Ass fat, ain't it? That's <laughs> my girl, bro. Oh, for real? Oh, oh no. I, oh, I ain't even mean. Oh, I ain't even mean to try you like that, bro. No, on damn well you don't care. And no, on damn well you seen her get out of my car. Shut your ass up. It's okay. I don't like, care. Bro, now you good. Like, she fine. Nigga, like, it, it's a compliment to me. If right. Niggas want my girl, like, to me. It's a good like thing. We're walking and people are staring at you. And to me, that's like a compliment. That's yeah. a good thing. Because right now, I'm here. Some I'm people not get you. jealous. Yeah. No, no, I know a lot of people get jealous. But that's just a certain person I am. Like, she, and I can tell she's not used to having a person like me. Like, even when you're getting dressed for your, your shows and shit, I pull her shorts up. <laughs> I do. Because it looks better. It looks sexier. Um, I, You don't need your shorts at your knees. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Even though you're pregnant, you can still look sexy and be sexy. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, I say, she will look at me like, oh, you're different. Or like, you, like, you sure? Like, yeah. Yeah. So that's, you real, that's real important to have a relationship is com confidence. Show that body. Yeah, confidence, is very confidence. I still have little insecurities, but I think, you know, like, I have reasons why I have my insecurities. But he don't ever make me feel bad about them. So, um... I guess, yeah, that's really important because if you don't have, if you lack confidence, then 
you'll get jealous about lots of stuff. That's what I'm saying. You'll get jealous. Saying. Even though you may say you're not that confident, you're not that, you have to have a certain level of confidence. Fact. Honestly, to be with a person like me. Fact. Yeah. Actually, because the, the same happened in my past relationship. That The same thing I'm doing now, I used to do back then too yeah. when I used to host clubs and do like I never did meet and greets like how I'm doing now, but I host clubs and it I, I used to girls. take a lot of pictures and I used to have a lot of girls around me. So it like but that caused problems. You got what I'm saying? So for you to deal with Nah, her, she shouldn't have never been dealing with a dude like him because she can't deal with that. If I'm making my money and I'm working, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, you better leave me the hell alone. You better leave me the hell alone too. Let me make my money. Baby girl, I'ma spend it on you anyway. Chill, you know what I'm saying? And that's the same go for you. A lot of girls out here getting that bag today. Just like Queen, getting that money. Man, getting that money. I'm not about to bother you while you getting your money. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, don't wear that. What? <laughs> wear that, please. You know what I'm saying? We got security to stop anything that could come your way anyway. So you do what you got to do to make your money. I'm going to be over here. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. People just ain't built the same no more. All that jealous insecurity shit stop a whole lot of money and stop a whole lot of growth. Don't nobody want no insecure ass person, bro. For real. I'm doing it. Like, it's, it's still and I used to be insecure. I'm not about to act like I wasn't. I was very insecure. But yeah, you get hurt a couple times, get cheated on, treated like shit. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and and go through some of the things I went through. Yeah. You get over that real fast. <laughs> it takes a level. I think I was kind of I think I was kind of prepped for this though already. Yeah. I was prepped for this. I was also with someone before who was surrounded like like who was like in the spotlight like, who had the same thing. It's just they did it, you know, did differently. But I mean, the trust, the trust is there. I don't, I don't see any mistrust with that. But I think the only thing that we never really, we never. Nah, we don't argue. I think the only thing we we do disagree on is like what you said, like how we were raised. Just disagreements or like a lack of understanding. Yeah. yeah. One of my tips, I would say, um, don't go to sleep mad. Ooh. I feel like don't. at least you should say something to the person. Facts. Before you go to sleep, I don't think you should wake up the same way at least say something even if the person do feel some kind of way when they wake up at least y'all spoke the night before yeah and then you know show that you care i still gotta show that i care but i still gotta give him his, give him a space too yeah but i think yeah, if I, even if you give me your like or even like say you let us disagree and you give me my space i like i still like do nothing to like i don't bring you down or like no, or, like, so oh, or like, oh, since I'm mad at you, you carry your bags. No, like, you know what I mean? Or like, since I'm mad at you, or since we're disagreeing, like, you worry about your food. Yeah, yeah no, 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 I'm not that person either. That's, when it, like, that's when it starts getting petty. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That's when it starts getting petty. That's a lesbian and then you relationship. And you start to lose, like, respect for people. You know what yeah, I mean? Or, like, you think, or you think they don't love you, or you don't yeah. think they care. Like, right. Now, nah, he's still about you hungry. Shut your ass up. No, you shut your ass up. You hungry? Yes. Well, we, we, I'm about to go get something to eat, but I don't want to hear that shit when I get back, bro. I don't want to hear that when I get back. That's the type of relationship that everybody needs. You know what I'm saying? I, I We still got to eat. I still love you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, what if you look at it like, damn, what, what she's saying is like, I think it's wrong. Like, I don't do that. You know what I mean? You can eat that for it. Take it to that person and then talk about it again like it don't always got to be all right just because like you feel like that you're right i think the number one key is just understanding understanding communication confidence communication. no pride I, I, another one would be like honesty yeah. like, I like i like how I'll... most people have that the honesty comes out when you get to arguing and pissed off with each other you start being rude with the honesty though you know real rude you don't clean up your nasty stuff like that. So then, you get mad or your feelings get hurt. And then feelings get involved. After the feelings are involved, that's when everything goes to shit. Because somebody done hurt somebody's feelings. 
Then the ego comes. You get the ego trip. Then no, don't nobody want to be wrong. And you, you, you know, you went too far. And blah blah blah. That's when it goes like, like our our relationship when it comes to that honesty. You know I'm always keep it a buck with you. Nah, he do. <laughs> you know I'm always keep it a buck with you. And a lot of people like, especially like the type of person she is and how big she is and how like you, like you're a star. Like you know what I mean. Everybody around has gonna say yes. Yes, yes. And even me, there's so many yes people around me where it's like... Yeah, but he'll tell me no. Like, yo, dude, this outfit look fine? Like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. You got what I'm saying? But you always need to have that person and be like, like nah, man. Nah, you're you crazy. tripping, like, tripping. You know what I mean? Or like, nah, bro, you tripping, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think honesty is big. Like, honesty is big. I just feel like, once again, me and him have different, like, ways about honesty because he just straight up blunt. So he'll just say it. Me, I'll be, I'll kind of like try to like, I'll like walk around it a little, but I, I'll be like, well, like for example, if if I don't like something, right, I won't be like straight up like, no, I don't like that. Like I'll be like, well, I mean, is there I, something else? I like or it, is but the color or yeah, like, I'm like they don't got like this. Like I, and that, another thing is, I think that leads to knowing your partner also. I know you. Like, so I know you, but like, even, like, even at the slightest look you give me. I like, yo, you're that. lying. Well, but, I mean, I'm not you're saying lying. I don't like it, but instead of just saying, no, I don't like it, I kind of just have a hard time being, like, straight yeah. forward. That's, that's what I would say. I would say, nah, I don't I just, because well, you know why? I try to walk around people's feelings so much, and he don't. So, mm -hmm. the, so the main factors that are important, what do we say again? Um, honesty, honesty communication, communication, confidence, confidence, understanding. understanding. Those are the main things. And, and I, no ego. Kill the ego trip. When the ego comes, all it's like everything goes bad, bro. With the ego, then everybody want to act like they better than the next. You know what I'm saying? Like or you know, you niggas start to act tough, and then somebody hit somebody, and you know everybody don't go that far, but some people actually do. So. I'm talking to somebody, okay? Stop. You know, if you if your feelings hurt or whatever, don't be so sensitive. You know what I'm saying? In the world today, you cannot be sensitive, bro. You can't, y'all. I don't give a damn how bad you are sensitive and you're soft and you you can't be. Yeah, me. for real, you cannot be, bro. Okay, you can think I'm ugly, but you was ugly yesterday. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be soft. Can't I be soft. I feel like the answer uh, to do we argue, dang, I don't want to say no, like we per We disagree. Barely. We barely do. Barely. But we disagree, and um, we always make up, though. But, but it's like, it's been, I've in the known you for probably like a year or some change now. Yeah, make up sex. And <laughs> Not once have we had an argument. It ain't been like never to the point where like we going back and forth like yelling at each other like. Not once argue so like. Storm just out. that alone, I, I'm appreci I'm appreciative for that. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. you have the capability to make my life a living hell. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I have the capability and the power to, and yeah. so do you. But we don't use that. You know what I mean? So that's what I appreciate you for. Because I love you, you know what I'm saying? You could make my my life a living hell. So it's like, I appreciate but, that you don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people would yeah. take advantage of that power. That's the power that I was talking to you about when we first, first started talking. That I don't like when people have that power over me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember you said you didn't want to fall in love yeah. no more. Or ever again. You didn't want to. Facts. Because you didn't want to give somebody that power. Yeah. Yeah. People I, usually abuse that power. I more so want do. to make you happy. So, yeah. We cool. I love him. He's my friend. Yeah. We still friends, y'all. That, too. You have to stay friends, bro. You have to stay friends. Me and Jadia had to break up and then become friends again. So, now that's my motherfucking Nick. You're my dog. My daddy. We start off as close friends. And now you're my boyfriend. I love him. Um, yeah. We're not perfect. 
We're not perfect, but um, this is my son here. So I'm just <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Wait, babe, you gotta do it because I'm okay. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Gang, gang. <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Gang. Yeah, bro. Cut the ego trip. Be honest. Be very blunt. Not disrespectful. Yes, consider someone's feelings. But don't lie because you're trying to do it. You still gotta be honest. And that's it. We'll go to the next video. Peace out.